Yeah, we're going to be hosting the Atlantic Sun Conference Cross Country Championships this Saturday. Uh, the men uh, take off at 10 a.m., followed by the women's race at, at 10.45. Um, it's out at Percy Warner Park, the corner of Highway 100 and Old Hickory Boulevard. Uh, I encourage you to come out and get get out there early. Uh, a lot of the fun part of it for fans is to be there beforehand watching teams warm up and, and just kind of getting everybody psyched up. So And traffic might be an issue too, so get out there early. Uh, well, preparation is pretty much the same as it's, it's been from week to week. Uh, we do cut back just a little bit, uh, but we're not real big on a huge taper. Uh, we're trying to keep our mileage at a, at a moderate level. Got a couple guys who are a little tired. We're going to cut back their mileage a little bit, but some of our top guys, it's uh, business as usual in terms of mileage and workouts. Uh, we're totally expecting uh, for Matt and Eric to uh, take care of business up, up toward the front not necessarily winning. I think uh, Kim Boy from uh, Upstate is a prohibitive favorite. Uh, and then Kennesaw has got a couple guys who are going to be up there along with North Florida. Uh, but we're expecting those guys to take care of business and be up in the mix, uh, top five to seven at the worst, hopefully. Uh, but the, the race is going to be won or lost with every team's third, fourth, and fifth runners. So. Oh, it's going to be crazy. This is uh, actually uh, as a coach, it's probably not uh, the best feeling in the world, but this is an exciting, it's going to be an exciting day. Uh, I honestly believe that five teams uh, are in contention to win this championship, and uh, that doesn't even mean a sixth or seventh team couldn't squeeze in. When I looked at the, uh, uh, the team rankings, uh, I was, I'm just shocked to see uh, how good Mercer is this year, and they're ranked seventh out of ten teams in the conference, and they are uh, a very, very good team. So, so much depth. Uh, usually the championship comes down to one or two teams, and everybody knows that, uh, but this year I really think it is just a wide-open event.